Today on the show, we're taking a look at the Voltron 84 classic legendary Voltron. And we're going to compare it to the Voltron legendary defender Voltron. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comigan TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. So today we're taking a look at the Voltron 84 classic legendary Voltron fully assembled and we're going to compare them to the legendary Defender Voltron. So for this I'm going to have to stand up because I had to scoot my camera pretty far back in order to get them most of the way into frame. So here we go. Let's go ahead and we're going to move legendary Defender Voltron out of the way real quick. So. As you can see, I've got the majority of his blasters and cannons and stuff also attached to him. We're going to go ahead and take those off. We're solely going to focus on, for this part, we're going to focus only on his articulation. And then we're going to go over a few other things. So first and foremost, his head can go kind of up and down. No turning motion really, no side to side. Uh, his arms... Go up to there, turning around, which you can't really do without it looking kind of funky because of the back of the leg, um, but you can go all the way up like that, but again it looks kind of funky. Alright, and that's on both arms. Now get about an 80 degree elbow joint and it can go both ways but I don't know why you'd want to do that uh, the head or the hand or first this part does turn as well all right and then the head nice ratchet nice stiff ratchet no waist articulation the legs can go up to there you got a swivel here at the thigh. You got a bend at the thigh. You got kind of a double knee joint there. You got one there and then one inside the lion. And then you've got kind of toe tilt. All right. Then you've got the wings as well, which. There's really only one position you can put it, put the wings in that looks decent, and that's like that. No real, no other real articulation on this, on this guy after that. In order to take the, take Voltron apart, all right, you got a button here and a button here. Push that button, pop that off. Push this button, pop that one off. And then back here, push. I always have trouble with this. Push it in, kind of up, really, up and in. All right. So, there's how you take them apart and put them back together. Now, here's something I don't see any other reviewers doing when it comes to Voltron. Remember how I said that you can mix match the lines if you wanted to. So we're going to make... A blue, red, and black Voltron. Fit this leg in there. Fit that one in there. It does change the balance a little bit, but it's not bad. Alright, so here's the one problem. You can do it with the legs, but 
because of the shape of the peg, you cannot put this a red line in this side. It just won't fit. Uh, which I think would have been really cool if they would have done it to where, you know, you could do that, but you can't. Uh, it will, however, fit on this one, just like that, and that looks pretty good. Uh, also, let's go ahead and take, as I said before, swap that out. Swap that out, and we'll go ahead and put green line on there. If I can get them in. Just like that. So you can swap them out. Now let's go ahead and see what the legendary black line looks like with the classic red, green, blue, and yellow line. And yeah, I kind of like that look. Scoot this one over to the side. There we go. Looks nice. Um, I won't, I won't display them like this. I'll leave them in their regular modes. Uh, but yeah, that looks really good. You know, I've always said I like the look of this black line or this Voltron compared to this one. If only they would have kept this part of Voltron here and then gave the legendary Voltron this blazing sword. Uh, I don't like the energy sword. I just don't. So let's go ahead and take these guys back apart. I really like them both. Uh, they both have really good qualities. There's some positives and a few negatives about both. Now, the original Voltron, Voltron 84. I went over this with Black Lion, all right? With Voltron 84, the difference between him and Legendary Voltron is all right, the face, as you can see, he's got blue on his forehead here with the little uh, gem in the center. Uh, he's got a plain forehead. Uh, black under the eyes here, blue under the eyes there. All right. Now, I do like the look of the lion on this one a lot better um, than this one. Uh, the horns or the crown on this one I don't really care for too much uh, but I like the face a lot better on this one uh, and again the crest the chest piece I like this chest a lot better if they would have been able to find a way to make this one look more like that uh, that would be preferable uh, I did see on Caveman Reviews, uh, Toy Hacks has stickers now to where you can make this one look more like that one. Eventually I will invest in them, uh, but they are kind of pricey, so I'm holding off as much as possible. Let's see, I do like the real sleek, rounded look of these guys. On this one, uh, the square, each of the lines, they don't really look like they have their own individual personality I guess you could say they look exactly the same just different colors now on this one each line has its own personality its own specific look you can tell them apart even if they aren't colored just like with the blue and yellow lines there uh, as you can see hunks line is more brawny more muscular more built like a tank Blue line, you know, more aquatic, uh, kind of stealthy looking. Whereas over here, they pretty much look the same except for the cannon here and then these fins here. Overall, I really like them both a lot. The Blazing Swords, uh, 
I prefer the top one, the old school blazing sword. This, I don't really like. Uh, I do wish Playmates, though, would have put the, uh, the hilt or the knuckle guard on there. Uh, that would have been pretty cool. Um, but other than that, they got it done really nice. I would have, though, maybe painted this portion here. Uh, just to give that little extra, you know. Uh, and he does come with the shield. Um, also, they both have electronics inside them. They both have several words and phrases that they say. We'll go ahead and turn this guy on. We'll turn this one on too. I really wish Legendary Defender would have kept that whole sequence, combining sequence for Voltron. Uh, that says Voltron to me. Uh, whatever they do with this guy, that doesn't really, that's not Voltron. Voltron has always been, in every incarnation, form feet and legs, form arms and body or torso, and I'll form the head. Um, and the activate interlocks, dinotherms connected, infracells up, mega thrusters are go. That part as well, uh, I wish they would have kept. But. Pitch, talk to me. Are you hurt? No, I can handle it. Pitch, form shield. My shield can't take much more of this. We've got to hang on somehow. I trust you, Keith. We need to increase firepower. We got you, buddy. Activate laser blades. Let's light this thing up. Fire lasers. We've got to hang on somehow. Now we go on the offensive. Pitch, talk to me. Are you hurt? I'd be hurt if you didn't ask. Time to armor up. Activate laser blades! You got it, Keith! Lance! Hook! Give me full reverse thrusters! Roger! Engaging lower thrusters! Let's put him out of business! Yeah! With Voltron! It does sound like they used all the original voices, except for Allura, to do the audio for this one. Uh, and it kind of sounds like they used the... Uh, voice cast for the voices of this one. I don't think they did. I think they found sound-alikes. Pitch! Form shield! Roger that! Lance! Form blazing sword! Let's go! Yes! That Pitch. got him! Form sword! Activate laser blades! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Time to heat things up! Your time is running out, Sarkon! Yeah, that definitely was not the voice actress who played Allura. Let's light this thing up! Fire lasers! But the rest of them, I believe, were the same. Hold it right there! Princess, we're a team, and we really need you! We need to increase firepower! You came through when we needed you. Now we go on the offensive. It's on. Let's put him out of business. I love that sound for the blazing sword. I wish they would have kept that. And it 
does have a lot more. I'm not going to go through Let's every single one. Between the two wings, I don't know which one I like better. Naturally, the old school wings have more of a nostalgic feel. But the new wings look a lot sleeker. And you can position them kind of so that it's in the same way as the classic wings. And the wings, um, in the show at least, come off and form the shield. I wish Playmates would have uh, incorporated that into this figure so that you could take them apart, uh, take them off, and form a shield for them. I think that would have been really cool. These wings just fold back. I went over that with my Black Lion review. Um, I kind of like how Green Lion has this uh, shoulder piece uh, that also goes onto his back. Uh, I wish, you know, the lions, I wish they would have uh, did the same thing with these tails as they did down here, where they just folded. Uh, that would have looked better. I wish they would have made, did that with these. I don't really like how the tails are sticking out on any of them. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Can't have everything that you want, but... Between the two, I will say that this one looks a lot sleeker, a lot nicer. Uh, this one looks a lot boxier. If they, like I said, if they would have incorporated the same, you know, paint job and everything to this Voltron, I'd have to say this one would be my favorite. But as it is, both have their positives and negatives. Uh, I really like them both. I can't choose between one or the other. And they are roughly the same height. This one stands just a little bit taller to his head, uh, to the top of the wings. This one stands taller. Unless you have the wings on that one flipped around, then he'd be taller again. So anyway, there you have it, guys. My, com my review of the Voltron 84 Classic Legendary Voltron and comparison between him and and the Voltron Legendary Defender, Legendary Voltron. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I showed you guys a little bit more uh, than what some of the other channels are have shown you. Um, so far, I have not seen anyone else uh, swap out the lions like I did. I know I watched uh, the Refuse Spot the other day, and he mentioned about the peg points on the lions, and I said something to him about it on Twitter the other day. So I hope that answers any questions. You can uh, switch between the two. You can put two blue lines or two yellow lines under on the legs. However, it does not work that well with the arms, having two red lines or two green lines because of the shape of the pegs. Uh, so I hope that answered any other questions you guys had. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care, everyone.